Hey everybody and welcome back to another video with Brooklyn. I'm not going to be here long. I hope you all had a terrific Thursday. I wanted to come here and share some awesome news with you all. I think it's awesome. I just found out about it today and I wanted to come on here and share it with you all. Some of you all probably already heard about it, but I didn't and I think it's awesome. So, do you all know that we have been talking about this COVID-19 vaccine forever, right? And I don't know about you all, but I have always thought that every scientist that was involved in it and every, you know, doctor that's involved in it is, uh, you know, they always show a white person or whatever like that. Well, I'm here to show y'all this today and I am so proud of this woman. The lead scientist that helped invent the COVID vaccine is a black woman. Here she is. Isn't she pretty? She is gorgeous. Her name is Kiz Mika Shanta Corbett. Now, Kiz Mika, her nickname is Kizzy. I think it's so, I think it's just wonderful. I think it's wonderful that Dr. F Dr. Fauci, he wants people to know that one of the lead scientists who developed the COVID-19 vaccine is a black woman. She had her hands in the vaccine. It says her name is Kiz Mika Kizzy Shanta Corbett. She is an American viral immunologist at the Vaccine Research Center at the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, National Institute of Health based in Bethesda, Maryland. Okay. She was born January 26th, 1986. She's 34 years old in Hurdle Mills, North Carolina. Her employer is National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases. Her education, University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill, University of Maryland, Baltimore County, and then she went to Orange High School. Ah! I think it's so wonderful. And the reason why is because I'm sure not only me, but plenty of you all out there in my audience have thought that whoever was inventing this vaccine was a white person, a person of non-color. I had no idea that a person of color, not only a person of color, but a woman, a woman helped to invent this COVID-19 vaccine that can possibly save millions upon millions of lives. I think it's wonderful. I think it's great. Dr. Fauci came forward all this time. Trump, all of them, Gia, whatever, what is his name? Gigliani, Gugliani, all of these people, they've been talking about this vaccine. Every time they show a doctor, it's a white male. It's a white male. Every time somebody has something to say about the vaccine, it's a white male. It's a white male. They never gave this woman credit until Dr. Fauci came forward and told that one of the lead scientists is a black woman born in America. She's not mixed with another right. She's black. Kiz Mika? Nicknamed Kizzy? <laughs> I think it's hilarious. I think it's wonderful. I'm proud of her. You go, Kizzy. You go, girl. We can do anything. You go, girl. This woman has her hand in the vaccine that can save millions of lives. All races. Here we are having race wars every day. Every day. People come into my 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 um comment section and, and, and call me all kind of racist names when I give my opinion on certain things. And then, but they're going to go get the, the vaccine. Not knowing that a black woman had her hands in it. So my question to you, you don't like people of color. Now, are you still willing to take this vaccine knowing that a woman of color had her opinion and her hands in creating this vaccine? You that do not like people of color. Because if I don't like you, I don't want nothing you got. I don't trust you and I want nothing that you have. I'm definitely not going to trust you to give me a vaccine. So now 
You all who don't like people of color, are you going to trust this woman's judgment and still take the vaccine? And then people of color. I've heard several people of color that I've talked to say, I'm not taking the vaccine because they're trying to kill us off. They're trying to kill our race off. They're trying to kill off Hispanics and blacks and people of, 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 of color. So now that you have found out that there is a woman of color in the background, have you changed your mind? Will you now get the vaccine? Do you trust her and her judgment that she knows what she's doing and that she created this vaccine to save lives? Or Because surely she wouldn't be trying to wipe out her own kind. Surely she wouldn't. So do that give you a different mindset now? People of color, I'm asking you all. People of color, now that you know that there's a woman of color that's the lead scientist in creating this vaccine for COVID-19 to potentially save millions of people on top of millions of people around the world, okay? This woman has helped create a vaccine for people around the world. Are you willing to now change your mind and think about you know, maybe this sister got something. Maybe she will take care of us. Are you willing? And people that don't trust people of color, will you now back off and not take the vaccine? Because remember, we've been told to go back to Africa. We've been, you know, told that this net, we don't belong here. We can't vote. You know, they're hanging black folk in trees. If she wasn't here, the vaccine might not even came to where it is because they have to have that. It all comes together. Who's ever on the team, they all need to be together. They all work together. So do you still want people of color to go back to Africa? Are you going to take the vaccine or are you going to shun it now? I'm just asking questions. I think it's a fair question. I think it's a fair question because people of non-color was uh, 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 taking the vaccine and they, they they embracing it. I see on my, my news feed all the time. They're taking the vaccine. They're praising the vaccine. They, they, they being test dummies for it because I don't think we actually have it yet, but they're testing for it. And they're saying it's working great. And then people of color are saying, I'm not taking nothing. They're not killing me and my family. It's a setup. So I want to know, does each side have you all or will you all change your minds now? And I want to say congratulations to Kizzy and you go, girl. <laughs> I think it's funny because people have their thoughts about this vaccine and it's all based on race. It's all, a lot of it is based on race is why they're not taking the vaccine and why a lot of people are taking the vaccine. So is it based on race now? Or are you going to change your mind because of who's behind it? I know she worked with a team. She didn't do it all by herself, but she was a lead. She's a lead scientist. This girl is smart. And what I read about her education, that's not all of her education. It has more on me. I stopped. And she's only 36. So I want to, do you have a change of mind now? Because of whose hands is in it? Because if you don't trust people of color, you have to trust her enough to take this vaccine if they say it's going to save your life. And people of color, you thought it was all a white team, basically. Now you find out it is a black person on the team. Has that changed your mind? Can you trust her enough that she's not trying to wipe you out? Because I'm sure her and her family is going to take the vaccine. She invented it. She helped create it. I'm just asking the question. I was, I was stunned. I was stunned. I was shocked when I saw it and I had to do a video on it and I had to share it. I had to come on here and share it. I hope you all had a wonderful Thursday. I hope you all liked this video. And with that being said, I'm going to say Phil Donke. That's thank you very much in German. So Phil Donke for watching me and choose. That's what? That's buying German.